Yes, thank you. Um, so I, I'm going to talk about SMCHA. Uh, my name is Willy. I work at Development Seed. Um, I am a software engineer. Uh, for those who don't know uh, Development Seed, uh, we are a consulting software company. And we try to leverage open data uh, to help our partners uh, make better decisions and improve the planet. So uh, a bit about the history of SMCHA. Um, it was a, a software that I started in 2015. And going back to that time, if you wanted to know the edits that were happening in the, in the map, for example, of your city or the areas you are interested, uh, in that time, you could go to the SMCHA.org website, see the history page, and like navigate on the map. Have a view like that that didn't show like much information, just the box, the chain sets, and that list. Um, and we had a tool that is named uh, How I Did It, uh, Who Did It, uh, that showed that grid of chain sets in each area. And it gives a bit more information, like the number of elements. Um, touched by each change set, but also uh, it was not uh, no information for us. So I had the idea of creating a, a database of change sets to carry and also some college flags. Um, registering it from the database would allow some possibilities and help us uh, track what was happening on the map. So since the beginning, uh, the proposal of SMCHA is, have, is to have a wide range of filters so you, you could search change sets um, using uh, uh, a wide, a, a wide uh, range of options so you could find what interests you and try to re reduce uh, the maximum uh, of noise and like reach the information that you need to, to understand what was happening on opposite map. A bit about uh, also the history. Uh, I presented SMCHA for the, for the first time in the state of the map Latam in Chile. Uh, some months ago, some months later, uh, the Mapbox team started using it. Uh, they believed that they could help, uh, help, help them in the, um, in the validation. So in, in the beginning of 2017, uh, I started a, a contract with Mapbox to improve SMCHA. We started working on a new version, uh, like creating an API and create a new interface. Uh, that is more or less what we have until now. We re released that version in October 2017 uh, with the total redesign of the application. Um, yes, I, I, kept, I kept working with uh, my box for some time. Uh, then in 2021, I started working with Development Seed and we got a partnership with Wikimedia Italia. Uh, that is the local chapter of this map of the Orchestra Foundation in Italy. And we built um, a cool new feature, feature that uh, I will talk about more about it later. And then this year, we, we set a partnership with OpenStreetMap US. We uh, brought SMCHA to, to OpenStreetMap US as a charter project. So what SMCHA provides, um, we have, as I have said, a powerful change that carries. We can we register on database all the metadata about uh, the chain sets. We make it possible to, to carry it. Um, we also have uh, some flags. Uh, they are generated in, in three forms that I will explain more later. So flags are some quality, quality, some quality suggestions, uh, like that what could be wrong on each chain set. We, we run sort of analysis on them and add those tags 
uh, just flags here. In the, you can see it on the blue uh, words. And also a nice map visualization that help us understand uh, the chains. We also have the REST API that can be integrated with other tools. Uh, we have an integration with map roulette that allow us to push features from SMCHAR, uh, features flagged by SMCHAR to map roulette. And all the open source, all the tooling is, is open source. So it can be reused on other projects. A bit about uh, that part of finding the change sets. Here we have uh, the filter page. Um, as I said, uh, it's quite big. Uh, can take some time to, to understand uh, the possibilities of it. Um, each field, um, but I, I'll give an example. Um, some some months ago, we had a, uh, a vandalism problem in the city where I live uh, with some users putting adding fictitious names to streets, and then had the need to to track uh, the streets that were changing the names. So I created it with filter. Mm, my city. This is quite limited sometimes and can take time to mm. execute. So I, I create the limit of the area of the city. And then this is the, the feature that we implemented with uh, Wikimedia Italia. So you can track specific tag chains. So I needed to track all the changes in highways and also changes in names. And here you can use a no or end logic. In that case, in the end, I, I need to see change sets with both highway and name uh, changes. Uh, probably it should not find nothing here because the date is limited. Um, I did the same here to New York. No, actually it's missing. Yes, uh, that API is, uh, has a, a limit of how many requests I can make. And here the same thing, use the int. Um, I think that's a bit slow here. Uh, not just the city, I think. Let me explain. Let's try also without an area. The last one. Ah, yeah, we have. Um, so we can check uh, the chain set. For example, yeah, we, we see that probably it's something that could not have happened. And yeah, sometimes some, someone can go there and fix it. Um, Yes, the, the map, um, I think it provides a good way to, to understand what's happening, like uh, the, the features created, modified, deleted, um, and you have also some those panels that help a lot. Going back, so yes, the, the, I think it's a nice map visualization to understand the change. Um, about the source of flags, it's a question that uh, lots of people make. Um, we have basically three three types of flags. One is based on, on the chain set of the on the metadata of the chain set. It's, it's like some information that is already on, on the chain set, like the if the mapper is new or 
or not if uh, IG actually adds some information about pouch flags. So we use it to add that information on the database. Uh, we also track, for example, mass modification if the change set changes uh, lots of uh, features or mass deletion or a possible import. We also have uh, there are some compare functions that run on each feature. So when a chain set is created, uh, each feature touched by the chain set, like each feature created, modified, or deleted, we run um, a set of functions on each feature and try to and, and run some quality checks. And then we have that information also attached to the chain set on some chart. And also we have the API, API inputs. Uh, for example, the Mapbox team, data team, they review manually and uh, lots of, of features. And then they add some of those tags like uh, the graffiti or spam text. <laughs> About uh, the statistics, uh, monthly the average is 3,000 chain sets reviewed. Uh, to review a chain set for, just to clarify, is when you come here and you say if it's good or bad. Um, but we have 15,000 page views daily. Like there are lots of people that go to our SEMCHA, check the chain set, but don't click, click on the verify to, to say it's, if it's good or bad. Um, we have an average of 380 uh, unique users daily. And the average time that uh, a user is spent on a session is two minutes and a half. Um, I think it's quite a high number. And yes, about the charter project, uh, we are doing it. Um, for a long time, Mapbox has supported the SMCHA. They paid for the development, they paid for the hosting. Uh, so we are now bringing it to Oxymap US as a charter project. Uh, and we are contacting some organizations to help uh, fund the development and the hosting. And also, I believe it to open the space for the communities to also participate and decide the future of SMCHA. Uh, our vision is that SMCHA can be the central source for validated edits on SM, uh, a place where all, all the organizations and communities interested on, on OpsitMap can collaborate to uh, keep the, the quality of the data as high as possible. The first steps that we are taking, uh, we are already almost starting the migration to the SM US infrastructure. Uh, we are looking for organizations interested in funding the development. Um, one of the priorities uh, on, on the next developments are also are the, to add more, more intelligence to the error flagging and the prioritization. The number of chain sets is very high on uh, opposite map. So it, it's not possible to check everything. Uh, we can add more, uh, a better analysis to help uh, us decide what needs more action to, to validate. And also we want to empower the users to create the own flags uh, to or some compare functions or input it uh, in other ways through the API, for example. So how can you contribute? Um, can we review the chain sets, talk about it to other mappers. Uh, we have the GitHub repository. We have a channel on the OSMUS Slack. Uh, we are doing also monthly meetings with the entire community. You can attend. There is the link also on the Slack channel uh, to, to receive the invites of, of the meetings. So thank you very much. Um, if you are interested in the development seat, you can contact us. Uh, we have some positions open as well. Thank you.